Hey everybody, hello out there, lovers of music, music lovers, I hope you're doing okay, I hope the beginning of your week is going well. Well, I'm back with a video, and this video, I want to spotlight and focus on one of my favorite foreigner albums that is correct the band foreigner such a great rocking hard rock band but um, i was listening today um, to their album inside information released back in 1987 i love that whole album that is one of one of their best albums um i strong i highly recommend it I uh, highly recommend you give it a listen. If you haven't listened to it well, if it's sitting in your collection, pull it out. Listen to the music. I mean, that album still uh, shine and, and, and gave them still the commercial success that they always had. The album has a hard rock edge. Um, yeah, let me just show the cover real quick. This is the album I'm talking about. Foreigner Inside Information. I, here's some of the track songs on this album. Here we go. It is a gatefold. And, um, what a combination. What I mean is Mick Jones on guitar and Lou Graham, I mean... It doesn't get any better than that to me. I mean, great vocal delivery, great sounding guitar, real crunch, gr crunch, you know, that hard rock, warm sound on a guitar. I love it. I love it. And the first time I do remember hearing Foreigner, the first time I, I um, excuse me, I, I heard Foreigner was from the radio. They were. We're getting a lot of airplay when that self-titled album came out. Two songs that I never get tired of, Cold as Ice and Feels Like the First Time. I remember when I finally got the album as a young kid, probably pre-teens. I just loved it from beginning to end. The first time I ever heard that, well, not the first time, and they did this one song called Star Rider with the little har Harper score that just blew me away. I think it's one of the bands that led me down to my favorite genre as well of um, prog rock music because of songs like that. Star Rider and uh, just, man, The Damage is Done. I'm talking about their first album, but let me just focus on the music on here. This, this is... This right here had two songs that were just getting uh, radio attention, and that's the hard rocking, makes me want to karate kick my wife's makeup mirror, and that's the song Say You Will. Love that song. Love the vocal delivery. I love Lou Graham Graham's uh, vocal on that ballad. I mean, he's so good on the song I Don't Want to Live Without You. And uh, the album kicks off with a tune that should have got some airplay too, and that's Heart Turns to Stone. But just good songs, hard rock, ballad. It's sound, when you hear it, you know that sound of Foreigner. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the sound, the production of uh, Foreigner uh, 4 and Ancient, or what is it? Art, I can't remember that. The one that had, a, I know, I know, I want to know what love is and tooth and nail that album just as good as this album right here i'm holding double vision what a classic um this is one of the variant covers of it but even this album you know blue morning blue day the ballad of back where you belong uh that instrumental that i can never say the title correct and the uh, lonely children i mean they were making great albums. And then unfortunately, you know, they are still together and they're getting ready to come here sometime. But honestly, I don't have an interest in seeing them without um, Lou Graham. And so 
Um, that's just my thoughts on that. But and another, another thing about their music, a lot of their songs were like that they did growing up. Like when it came out to when it when they released the album Head Games, a lot of those songs were like songs that you ever hear people say the soundtracks to their lives. That album has a lot of songs that I would could easily say that they were the uh, soundtracks. A lot of songs that they did were the soundtracks to my life growing up. I remember getting a cassette copy of Head Games and just playing that over and over until I wore out the tape. Uh, I finally did find it a, year, a few years ago on vinyl, so I got that. But uh, if I could even make comparison, Foreigner, I, I think of other bands, of other records that probably are not as popular like i'm sure a lot of people might have dropped off and stopped listening to foreigner but i i, I haven't i mean uh, as far as you know even up to uh, other albums that they came out later on i can't think of a a few of them but i'd like to find those on vinyl as well too but i think about other record other bands like when aerosmith came out with done with mirrors Another album that I thought was just great, great rock and roll. Lover Boys, loving every minute of it. That was a solid rock album, in my opinion. Queen, The Miracle, I love that album. The Viv Invisible Man, Cheap Trick, Live at Budokan, and some of their later albums as well. So uh, there's my comparisons. Uh of um, the band Foreigner with those bands. I mean, a lot of those albums that I just mentioned, you know, were part of my youth. I still enjoy hearing those records today. But, you know, I really wanted to focus on talking about this album. Give it a listen. The music on here is great. Um, as I was uh, listening to it, you know, I started to get out my uh, two drumsticks, my uh, pencils, and was twirling them and, dram and just drumming to the... I just couldn't get enough of the first side, so I played that quite a, quite a bit. Now, uh, VC members sent me this as some VCOT, and I appreciate it because um, I didn't have this, but, man, I, I do appreciate them sending me this record. And... Uh, so if you've ever come across some foreigner and the dollar bins, clearance bins, or even uh, clearance CDs where you're finding their music on CD, you know, pick it up, check it out, listen to it. Um, I don't think you can go wrong. Uh, little other things that um, I want to talk about is that uh, years ago, I found out that Mick Jones was a guitar player in a band that I like called Spooky Tooth, if I remember that right. And they do a killer version of I Am The Warriors. Um, one of the other early members was a member of King Crimson. I can't think of his name. I want, I want to say Ian McDonald, maybe. I, 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 I mean, let me know in the comments if I got my facts all wrong or uh, I'm on to something. But yeah, this record... Oh yeah, it needs if if it needs to circulate. It still needs to be in print, and I'm you never know. They might start doing the foreigner collection and reissuing those. I know they did the CDs, um, some of the earlier albums with some bonus stuff. But anyway, folks, check out Inside Information. It's really a good good record to, to kick back and get uh, relax. Uh, I don't think you, I don't think you can go wrong with this album. But anyway, those are my thoughts. I uh, just want to say thanks to all the subscribers here recently. I appreciate everyone, and uh, I'll see you soon.